Eugene James Petralli is a former professional baseball player. Petralli played for the Toronto Blue Jays and Texas Rangers, both of Major League Baseball's American League, for part of 12 seasons from 1982 to 1993. Primarily a catcher, he also played first base, second base, third base, outfield and designated hitter. Petralli graduated from John F. Kennedy High School in Sacramento, California, and went on to Sacramento City College. He was drafted by the Toronto Blue Jays in the third round of the January regular phase of the 1978 amateur entry draft. Petralli made his professional debut in 1978 with the Medicine Hat Blue Jays of the Rookie Pioneer Baseball League, where he batted .281 in 65 games playing some third base as well as catching. The following season, he started the year with the Class A unit in Blue Jays, batting .288 in 52 games, then was promoted to the Triple A Syracuse Chiefs, where he batted .232 in 18 games. In 1980, Petralli was assigned to Double A with the Knoxville Blue Jays. In his first full season all at one level, he played 116 games, and batted .285 with three home runs. Petralli was promoted back to Syracuse in 1981, where he split time with fellow catching prospects, Dan Whitmer and R.A.M.A. Tilda Superscript 3 and Laura, and appeared in just 45 games and batting .265. In 1982, Petralli was given a full-time job at Syracuse, and he responded with minor league career bests and batting average, home runs and runs batted in. This earned him a September call-up, and he made his debut on September 4, pinch-hitting for catcher Buck Martinez and striking out. He got his first major league hit the following day, a double off the Cleveland Indians Len Barcourt at Cleveland Municipal Stadium, then finished the season with a 364 average in 16 games. With Ernie Witten Martinez still around to handle catching duties for Toronto, and designated hitter Cliff Johnson available for emergencies, Petralli returned to Syracuse in 1983. Although his numbers slipped to a 245 average, three home runs and 40 RBI, he was again called up in September. He received only four at-bats over six games without a hit. In 1984, Petralli made the Major League roster out of spring training, but appeared in just three games over the first month of the season, batting three times without a hit. On May 8, his contract was sold to the Cleveland Indians. Petralli returned to Triple A for the Indians, as he was assigned to the main guides. There, he served as backup to former New York Yankees prospect Juan Espino, playing in just 23 games and batting .217 without a home run. He started out the next year with Maine as well, this time behind former Rangers prospect Kevin Buckley. After just two games with the guides in which he had one hit in seven at-bats, Petralli was released. Petralli signed with the Rangers on May 17, and he was assigned to the AAA Oklahoma City 89ers. In 27 games, he batted .263. In early July, he was called up to the Rangers to replace injured starting catcher Don Slaught. Petralli made his first appearance for the Rangers on July 9 against the Indians, going 0-4-2. Petralli's first hit as Ranger came in a 6A circumflex zero defeat at Yankee Stadium on July 12 against Yankees pitcher Edwardson. With Slaught missing most of the next two months, Petralli split time with Glenn Brummer, but when Slaught returned, he assumed Brummer's role as Slaught's primary backup. Brummer was released after the season. Petralli finished the season with what were, to that point, career highs in most categories, including his first major league stolen base. He batted .270 with 11 RBI in 42 games with the Rangers. Petralli returned to the Rangers as Slaught's backup in 1986, but the Rangers had also signed Daryl Porter as a free agent to serve as third catcher and part-time DH. When Slot again was injured in May, the Rangers added a fourth catcher, Orlando Mercado, to the roster, and continued to carry all four for the remainder of the season.